Yeah, I, I kind of had a feeling, but uh, like I said, I didn't want to get any my hopes up. Didn't want to get uh, really disappointed, but I, I had it in the back of my mind that they were interested. Uh, I think a lot of it's just getting that exposure initially, like uh, playing at Stansted College. Not a lot of people knew where it was right away, and so uh, as soon as I got that exposure, then uh, more and more people started to come watching, and I kept on impressing. Uh, when you came here, were you thinking, okay, if I go in the top 50, that would be great, or did, did you really think Friday night you'd be? Well, uh, I, would, I was definitely uh, thinking about it, and that, that's one of the reasons I decided to come to the draft, because I had a possibility of going first round. And, uh, so I, I was really hoping for it, but I, I was trying to not, to not get disappointed if it didn't happen, because uh, I know it doesn't really matter where you get drafted, it matters what happens, what you do after, but I'm really excited to be picked uh, as high as I was. And you're as confident in yourself as the Flames are in you? Is that Definitely, yeah. Like, uh, like they said, I think in 10 years I can be the best player in this draft. Okay. Awesome. I'm a big skilled forward who uh, use, uses my body to protect the puck and hard to knock off the puck. I use my uh, vision and my hockey sense to make the players around me better. Okay, and what can you bring to the Flames to make them better? Uh, I think that I could definitely, uh, I'm just one of those guys who will do whatever it takes for the team to win. Uh, I want to win a Stanley Cup, and I know the Flames want to win a Stanley Cup too, so I'll do whatever I can to do that. Talk a little bit about uh, the opportunity to go to play for the Dubuque Fighting Saints next season, a program that obviously is demonstrated in this first round that they can produce some good NHL caliber talent. Right, definitely. I'm really excited about the opportunity to go play, uh, play in Dubuque next year. Coach Montgomery runs a real great program, and I really think that uh, that's going to help me in my development to uh, eventually become an NHL player. Did you get a chance to talk with either Mike Matheson or Zemgus Gergensen to get an idea what that program's like? Um, yeah, well, when I went and visited uh, visited Dubuque before the draft, before the USHL draft, I uh, I skated with their team, watched them play. So I got to talk with a couple of the players then, and uh, just just to get a feel for what what that program's all about. And I'm I'm really excited about being the opportunity to play there. The first round draft pick in the USHL draft, and then followed by the first round draft pick in the NHL draft. Pretty pretty crazy couple weeks for you, I imagine. Yeah, definitely. It's been uh, it's been all going really quick, but I'm just trying to take it day by day and just uh, live in the moment and be excited about it, and enjoy it. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you.